Hey y'all, hey, so Lindy Eats here, and today we are talking about raw vegan, raw vegan eating, y'all. So I'm going to start by telling you the reason that I eat raw vegan so frequently, and that is for the health benefits, y'all. So raw vegan to me, it is not a trend, it is not a fad, it is not a gimmick, and it is not a diet. It is just a way of living. Incorporating more raw vegan foods into your life is going to change your life. It's going to change your health, it's going to change how you feel. So there are some things that I want to talk about when it comes to eating raw vegan. First of all, if you decide to jump into one of my raw vegan challenges, you've never eaten raw vegan before, you can expect that you're going to have some cravings. You can expect that after a few days of that, you're going to be like, when are we going to get some cooked food again? And But that is also going to depend on how much raw vegan foods you're already incorporating into your diet. So if you're a person where your plate is already looking like 50% raw vegan, your, your transitioning into a raw vegan challenge will not be as hard as someone whose plate is looking like 75% or more cooked food at all times. So those are some things to consider. And I would even suggest that if you're the person who's on the 75% or higher of cooked foods on your plates, that you would decide to maybe do raw, raw to four for a few days to kind of get your body used to eating more raw vegan foods. And also look at your plates and see how you can change up what you're eating. See if you can maybe incorporate more fresh raw foods onto your plates so that you don't have a plate that's fully loaded with lots and lots of cooked foods. That even goes down to having a burger, right? So if you're having a vegan burger, whether it be a black bean burger, a Beyond Burger, Impossible, whatever vegan burger you're having, make sure that you have like a salad on the side of that. Make sure that your burger is loaded with fresh veggies. So yeah, sometimes you want a burger and fries, but the better choice would be to have that burger and then a huge salad or that maybe even like a half a burger and a huge salad. But definitely you want to get in more veggies than the other stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so that's one tip to going into eating raw vegan and getting your palate ready to receive it. And another thing to note is that whatever season you're in when you decide to eat raw vegan is going to play a part in your raw vegan challenge. It's not as huge a part as people think it is. And this is why I say that. Because when it's super, super cold outside, you're normally eating warmer foods, right? And that's because you're like, ooh, it's cold. Let me get a bowl of soup. Ooh, it's cold. Let me make some chili. You want more comfort foods. So when it's a colder season and you're trying to embark upon your first raw vegan challenge, you're going to find that you're craving more warm foods. But that's not because you're eating raw vegan. That's because it's just what you're used to eating during that season. There are plenty of people who don't eat soup. My husband is one of them. He is not a soup person. So someone like that who is embarking upon a raw vegan challenge who already doesn't eat tons and tons of like hot comfort foods, it probably wouldn't be too big of a deal for them switching over to a raw vegan challenge in the colder season. But if you're the person who is like, give me my warm foods when it's cold outside, you're going to notice that your body is starting to crave those foods because again, that's something that your body's used to having during this cold season. Um, and one way to combat that would be if you have a food dehydrator or, or if you have a high speed blender, throw some veggies in there and whip that baby until it gets nice and warm, not hot. You're not cooking it. You're just heating it up in your blender or either in your food dehydrator at a temp of like 119 or below. Um, I try to do all my foods in the dehydrator at 115. I think that's just a happy medium. People have different degrees to what they think takes away the nutritional value and, and then cancels out your food being raw anymore so you have to look it up and decide for yourself what's a good number for you okay so another reason that i enjoy eating raw vegan y'all is because the health benefits that i feel so meaning like i feel more energetic i feel more aware more alert my brain is less foggy um it's so funny like you can I, i'm just at a faster pace i'm running at a higher speed it's like somebody just renewed my tank with oil got a, a fresh oil change all those things i'm running on all cylinders if that makes sense so those are some things you're going to notice and again the more you eat raw vegan the more you incorporate raw vegan foods into your diet the more you're going to crave them the better you're going to feel and you're going to crave those other things less which means the more you do something the more you want to do it and the more benefits you're going to receive from doing it so the biggest biggest tip i can give y'all on choosing to jump in on one of my raw vegan challenges is if so you know 
for the year, I'm going to be doing 20 days a month, whether that be broken up days or whether that be 20 days in a row for the first two months. I did 20 days and 21 days for March. I'm doing 20 days, but I am doing the first 13 days. It's kind of weird how <laughs> I'm doing it, but I'm doing the first 13 days and then I'm going to come back and do another week at the end. So with that being said, you can jump in on one of my challenges while I am eating raw vegan. You can eat raw vegan at any time and ask me questions if you have them. But I also, I want you to start prepping for eating raw vegan. That means clean up your plate. It means start adding more whole foods and fruits and veggies and nuts and seeds that are not cooked, processed in that type of way to your plate. So that whenever you go on a full-blown 100% raw vegan challenge, it's going to be that much easier for you to do it. All right, that's it. I think those are the little tips I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate every time y'all join me on these challenges. Um, and to me, like I said, they're not even challenges anymore because I'm not to the point of like, it's not the same feeling. When I'm eating raw vegan now, it takes, I have to get to like 10 days, 14 days before I start craving cooked foods again, which is amazing because in the beginning, when I hit that three day mark, I'm like, if somebody don't bring me a sandwich or something over here. So it's totally different. It's gonna change for you too. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday and I will talk with you soon. All right, have a good one.